All right, guys. So today we are going to be talking about correlation coefficient. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to get onto the Desmos, cal Desmos calculator, um, just like you did the other day. So again, that's that green one, and it has a grid on the right, and then the workspace on the left. Um, we start off the exact same way. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a table of values to our grid. So we're going to make this calculator graph our information for us. Um, so I'm just going to input the graph that I have in front of me, and then you're going to do the same based on your quiz. Okay, so I have negative 8, negative 6. Oops, sorry, you got to press down in between. Negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 3, and 5. Okay, and then my y values are... Um, they are 15, 17, 22, 22, 27, 33, 35, 36, and 44. Okay, so I can't see my data right now because it's over here. I've got to zoom out a little bit. Where are you? There it is. Okay. All right, so here's my data. So then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to figure out the line of best fit. So remember our equation for that is slope-intercept formula, and that's y equals mx plus b. Um, but, oh, y equals mx plus b. Um, but the Desmos calculator doesn't like this formula written like this. So you use a tilde here like that. And then right next to your y and your x value, you're going to put the number that's on your table. So it's y1 and x1. It's just a label so that your Desmos calculator knows what to calculate. Okay, so then it draws the line of best fit for you, which is what you did um, yesterday and the day before. But today we're interested in the correlation coefficient, which is this r value. Uh, here's the deal. If the slope is positive increasing like this line is, we want our correlation coefficient, the r value, to be positive as well. So if it's a decreasing slope, it's going to be a negative r, and if it's a positive slope, it's going to be a positive r. Um, then it has, it's either strong or it's a weak correlation coefficient. So it's a strong correlation coefficient if it's really close to negative 1, if it's a decreasing slope, or positive 1 if it's an increasing slope. So the slope is positive, so if it's really close to positive 1, then it's a very strong correlation. What that means is that the data is really close to the line of best fit. So all of the data is really, really close. And that makes a huge difference in statistics because then you know if the experiment you're doing is actually working because you should be getting about the same thing every single time. But if there's a weak correlation coefficient, this number is really close to 0. So R is is weak if it's close to zero and strong if it's close to one or negative one. Here's an example of a weak correlation coefficient. So anything less than 0.5 is weaker. Um, but like this guy, this R value is a 0.2. So it's pretty close to zero and it's not close to one. If you notice here, my data points are really far away from my line of best fit which means that this is a weak correlation, which means that the pattern is not working very well when I try my experiment. So that's the feedback that we get. Now I'll show you one more with a negative correlation coefficient so that you can see what that looks like. But it's just when you have a decreasing slope. So let's go negative 10, negative 8, negative 6, negative 4, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 2. Okay, so then we have negative 25. Oh wait, sorry, positive 25. There we go. 21, 15, 15, 10, 40, no, 9, 11, and five. Okay, so here is our next scatter plot. We need to graph our line of best fit, which also gives us our correlation coefficient. So y1 tilde 
um, mx1 plus b. Okay, so here's our line of best fit, and all of our data is really close to our line of best fit, so it's probably going to have a very strong correlation coefficient. And if you look, it's negative 0.977, so yes, it is a strong correlation coefficient because it's really close to negative 1, and the reason that it's a negative is because the slope of the line is decreasing. All right, guys, so hope you enjoyed your last lesson of the 2020 school year. We miss you very much. Please let your teacher know if you have any questions. We're more than happy to help you. Take your daily quiz. <laughs> have a great day. Bye, guys.